Hello, welcome to Valerian Bay. I'm Suzanne and I'm so pleased that you're here today. So today we're going to look at five different holistic activities that are going to bring you closer to happiness fast. So what is the first one? Let's get going straight away. Um, using a pendulum is number one. This is going to change your life because you can do all sorts of things with this. You can solve problems. You can check out what you need. So just have a look at my um, other video of how to use a pendulum on here. But what you can do is if there's something that's really bothering you inside, if you're all pent up about something, you can say, I asked my unconscious mind, is this a problem? And it will show you yes or no. So you want to ask it which way is yes and which way is no first. Um, and then you say, is this a problem that can be resolved? And it will say yes. And you go, can you start resolving this problem now? And it will go, yes. Can you finish this resolving this problem in an hour? Yes. And then that will set off your unconscious mind to start resolving the problem you've got. So it clears it and you're free of it. I cannot tell you how many times I've used that. I've used it many, many times in the past. It also ties in to number two, which is to work with bark remedies or flower essence remedies. So there are other remedies other than the bark remedies, but they look like this. And there's about 38 of these and they all do different things. I'm going to explain to you what that is in a second. But first of all, I'm just going to show you with your pendulum, I have a box of these bark remedies, but you can actually write them all down on a piece of paper individually. If you go on the bark remedies or flower essence um, website, I'll stick it in the link. I'll stick it on the text, the description. Um, you can hold the pendulum over what's written down on the piece of paper and say, do I need this bark remedy or do I need this? And it'll swing back and well, depending on what your yes is and what your no is. So my yes is back and forward. My no is left and right. Your yes and no's might be different. So always check before you use the pendulum. What is my answer for yes? What is my answer for no? And see which way it swings. And then you can go. Do I need any bar remedies in this box? And you'll see mine's starting to say yes. And then what I do is I, I float it over the box, over the different bark remedies. And when it doesn't need it, it starts going side to side like that. And then when it picks one that, it, that I do need. So that's there. It's going back and forward. I can pick it out. And I go, do I need this one now? And it's saying yes. And you can do that over a piece of paper with them all written separately on the piece of paper. It's the same thing. So that's the first two. Use any pendulum to clear your issues and to find out if you need different things in life. So you can do that with um, the flower essence remedies. You can do it with vitamins and minerals. You can write it down on a piece of paper. Do I need this? Yes, no. Um, you can ask it all sorts of questions and get yes, no answers. You can even speed up your metabolism using it. So subscribe and pr press the bell icon because I'll be making lots of videos as we go along to show you all different things that you can do using the pendulum, using the Bart Remedies. So the Bart Remedies are made up of um, different essences from plants and they do have a little bit of brandy in them to keep it um, preserved. So for example... Beach, I don't know why this has come up for me, I'll have to have a ponder on this, but it's basically intolerance. Now that can be intolerance to things like um, allergies, you know, hay fever and stuff. So it might be that one because I have noticed that I've had a bit of reaction. But it could also be intolerance to people. Willow, that's for resentment. Um, red chestnut is for when you're worrying about people, other people too much and it's causing and it's basically everything that is causing you some sort of issue. This helps to clear it. So if it's a short term issue, it will it will clear it straight away. If it's a long term issue, it will take a little, little bit longer. There's um, a pipette on the end of it. 
So you just use your pipette, squirt a little bit in some water and drink it through the day. But they clear your problems without you having to try and figure it out. And it's really helpful to use these because you can see which ones you need. And then you go, oh, right, yeah, that is that is an issue and that's an issue. And they all do different things. So I'll put the website on the bottom of here uh, on the description so you can see what those look like. So those are the first two. Um, the next one is... A holistic activity that's going to make you feel more happiness in your life is to find an energetic practice for your body to do each day. Now, that might be Tai Chi to, to help to move your energy around. One that I particularly love is called uh, Qigong or Qigong. Um, and again, I'll put that in the description. So I start off my day with tapping at these points. And so, um, for example, here, this is the start of your stomach meridian line. And that resets all the different elements within your body, resets your energy. You, I also do this thing where I pull, pull, the, um, pull my scalp, basically, with my fingers. Resets all your energy within your body so that you feel fresh. You feel centred. Now, there's plenty of different um, Qigong or Qigong videos on YouTube. So I'll leave you to check that out. But I highly recommend that. The fourth one is to manage your breathing. So how we breathe is such it, it, it gives information to our body. If we are breathing at a short, high level, like a little bird, like a little sparrow, or how they breathe quite quickly and, and at this at this point here that tells our body that something is going on quite quickly and, and can suggest that we're a little bit stressed. If we take a deep breath right down into our stomach area, hold it and breathe out. So there's something called box breathing you can do. So you can breathe in for like four seconds. Hold for four seconds. Breathe out for four seconds. Stop for four seconds. Breathe in for four seconds. That calms down all your nervous system. Not only does it calm down all your nervous system, it allows your kinesthetic processing to come to the surface so we all think in different ways we might be more visual with how we process things we might be more auditory so you might be processing what you've heard what people have said um one that this society doesn't really work that well for is kinesthetic processing so if that's your dominant processing type that means that you process what's happened through the day through feelings. So you might be feeling what's going on. It's much slower and it's a deeper breathing place. So you'll notice if somebody's visual, they'll move their eyes in a different way. Their, their breathing will be at a much more shallow level up here. Whereas somebody who's auditory breathes from more in the middle. Somebody who's a kinesthetic processor breathes from further down. As I say... Click on the subscribe button because I'll go through all these things in lots of different videos. But just for now, the point is make sure you slow your breathing down. So just before we get to the last one, if you want to work with me as a life coach, I can support you on pretty much any issue you're having in life. Because the whole point of what I do is to bring you back to your true authentic self, to bring you back to centred um, the true essence of your soul so that you can live a happier, more empowered, free life, manifesting whatever it is you actually want and bringing that magic back into life. Just pop on to www.valerianbaycoaching.com, uh, fill in the form on the Get In Touch page and we can have a free conversation about how I can work with you. Now the last one is, before you go to bed... Give thanks and gratitude 
for everything that you really appreciate in your life and set your intentions for tomorrow. Now, this may seem like a simple thing that doesn't really do a lot, but it does so much because you're basically programming your brain to give you a good day. So not only are you putting it out to the universe that you really appreciate all the good things in your life, that puts you into a good state so it brings more to you. So it's just going to keep bringing more and more. By the more that you appreciate things, the more that things will come to you. Uh, by setting your intentions before you go to sleep, you are programming the computer that is your mind to make sure you have a good day. So when I say set your intentions, what I tend to do is I go, tomorrow I'm going to have a day filled with gentle compassion and productivity. I'll be centred and I will be manifesting love. Something like that. We can make it even simpler and just go, tomorrow I'm going to have a really lovely day. Tomorrow I'm going to have a calm and peaceful day. Tomorrow I am going to smash it. I am going to be so productive and so happy. So whatever fits for you in the sort of life that you've got, set that before you go to sleep. Give thanks for what you've had during that day and it will just try it for a week and you'll see how it changes things going forward. There are the five. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Goodbye.